Starting with version 7.0, VSP began supporting projected coordinate systems. In simple terms, a projected coordinate system is the mathematical model used to fit our ellipsoid planet onto a flat plane for display purposes. In this video, I'll shorten the term to coordinate system. VSP has never required a coordinate system for your project. You can create or load a map that has no coordinate system associated with it. In VSP, we refer to this as a local or undefined coordinate system. Maps with local undefined coordinate systems cannot be projected to another coordinate system. You can set the coordinate system when loading a map. Let me start by bringing in a map that has no coordinate system defined yet. I'll choose millsite.dxf. This file should have been loaded in your My Documents Visual Sample Plan folder when you installed VSP. For this map, the coordinate system is still undefined, but I happen to know that this map was drawn in a state plane coordinate system, so I'll choose some other coordinate system from the drop list, and this will allow me to select the coordinate system from a dialog. The coordinate system dialog allows you to choose the type or source of my coordinate system. The choices are the Universal Transverse Mercator, or UTM, using any one of the defined geographic coordinate systems, state plane systems using the North American datum of 1983, the British National Grid for our friends in Great Britain, and any other type of coordinate system that is contained in an ESRI projection PRJ file. Note, VSP currently only supports projections based on the transverse Mercator or the Lambert conformal conic. Future versions of VSP may support more projections if there's a demand for them. I'll select the state plane as my type. And then I'll select the specific state plane system and the units. And then I'll select OK again to finish loading the map. And I'll select No to not load the text. Note that setting the coordinate system does not reproject or alter the map. It only tells VSP what the actual projection is. After setting the coordinate system, the image tile server is now available. If you check the box, you can see the map image tiles placed behind your map lines. This is a good way to confirm that you've set up the coordinate system correctly for your map. Refer to video MB200 for more details about using the image tile server. Anytime after loading a map, you can still set or change the coordinate system. Navigate to Map, Coordinate System on the menu. And this brings up the same dialog we saw before. Note that selecting a different projection does not reproject the map to a different coordinate system. It only tells VSP what your coordinate system is. Future releases of VSP will provide tools for reprojecting the coordinate system to a different one. I'll load a second map into my project by selecting lake.shp. VSP will check to see if the map has a projection file associated with it. In this case it does, so VSP will ask if I want to reproject the map file to match the project's current coordinate system. I can choose to continue or cancel the map load. If I continue, VSP will reproject the new map onto the same coordinate system as my original map and zoom out to show both sites on the map view. They're far apart, so they appear to be tiny specks but I'll zoom into the original site to show that it's still there. There's the original site. And then I'll go to the new site to show that it's also on the project map. Notice how this site is oriented at an extreme angle. This is a problem of projecting a site onto a coordinate system that was defined for a distant part of the globe. We've tried to make the coordinate system handling intuitive. However, if you have specific questions about how the program works in certain circumstances, please contact us at vsp at pnnl.gov and we'll be happy to answer your questions.